Hello, everybody, and welcome to Spokane, Washington. We're at the Spokane Polo Club, side of this quarterfinal match in the girls' under-13 division. I'm Ken Gonzalez for George Langevin Productions, and it will be our pleasure to bring you this game here today. This match features two teams, the SSC Strikers and the Littleton United White. Littleton United in all blue, as you see them lining up there right at midfield. The SSC Strikers with the white tops and blue shorts. And you can hear the round of applause from their respective sides. Referees are right there at midfield. We'll get you the rosters for each of these teams. For the SSC Strikers out of Oregon, out of the Oregon Youth Soccer Association, number two is Anna Kennedy. Number three, Taylor Thompson. Number four, Michelle Lasnick. Number five, Christine Olson. Number seven, Amanda Dutra. Number eight, Natalie Simmons. Number nine, Lauren Holmes. Number 10 is Courtney Verlu. Number 11, Lindsay Miggs. Number 13, Emily Rhodes. Number 14, Adrian Lomason. Number 16, Stephanie Clark. Number 18, Joe Fitzgibbon, the goalkeeper. Number 35, Rebecca Wald. And Lauren Butts. Number 17. The head coach, Jeff Skipper. The assistant coach is Robert Letton. And the team manager is Shannon Hart. For Littleton United, number three, Tracy Ruse. Number four, Louise Timble. Number five, the goalkeeper, Emily Appleby. Number six is Katie Monette. Number seven, Brennan O'Connell. Number 10, Amy Barzuk. Number 11, Crystal Pittman. Number 12, Kristen Miller. Number 13 is Kelly Unkrich. Number 14, Lexi Sterling. There is the whistle, and we've started play. Number 15, Lisa Singleton. Number 17 is Jenna Schroeder. Number 18, Devo Holland. Number 19 is Kayla Yee. And number 20 is Kate McMullen. That ball coming up towards midfield. And it's the strikers moving from left to right. Now you see Littleton United coming across midfield. And the strikers, Joe Fitzgibbon, had the first save of the game here, as you just saw her collect that ball that was sent soaring towards the net. Running that ball down for Littleton United, number 17, Jenna Schroeder. And she'll put that ball into play, takes a nice running start. Nice header there by Lexi Sterling, number 14. And that ball goes out again. You can see a couple of adjoining fields here. We've got a few games being played here at the Spokane Polo Club today. Come on, strikers, all out. You can see the trees in the background there. Lots of forest. So we'll have a lot of shade here today. And we'll see as the sun changes positions how the shade will affect the play during the course of the game. As you can see down there in that far corner, the shade is already creeping through as the sun tries to shine through the trees. And so the strikers trying to penetrate in, but now they're sent back into their own territory, running that ball down like a madman. Number seven, Brennan O'Connell for Littleton United. She was determined to get to that ball, but it was finally cleared away by the defense of the strikers. There for the strikers, number 11, Lindsey Miggs, battling with number four, Louise Timble of Littleton United. Ball bounces and bounces over to the far corner, coming out of the box to make the save. Or up to the box, didn't come quite out, is the goalkeeper, Emily Appleby. That ball is rolling towards the net again. Appleby is there to scoop it up. Appleby's kick just across midfield. That's where the strikers will take it. Number two, Anna Kennedy. Nice short passing game so far for the strikers. Bringing it up, Lindsay Miggs. She runs into a little trouble. The ball comes back. Collision there, number seven, Amanda Dutra will hit the ground, and that gives Littleton just enough time to recover, take the ball away, but then they lose it out of bounds. 
Ball put back into play. Adrian Lomason, number 14. Remember, this is a quarterfinal game, so there's a lot at stake here. We're at the Far West Regionals. So these teams should be up and raring to go. Mark Stryker, solid tackle. Let's go. Littleton United gets the ball back into play. Amy Barzuk tries to maneuver her way upfield, runs into a little bit of trouble. Now she's going to get whistled for a little push in the back. And the Strikers will now bring the ball up. Anna Kennedy will take the kick. Let's see where she goes with it. Left footed. Little line drive kick close to the ground. Anna Kennedy tries to sneak that ball in past a couple of defenders, but it rolls right into the hands of Emily Appleby, the goalkeeper. Now the action was over to the other corner here on the near side. Looks like Kristen Miller will put the ball into play there, and she will. And you can't miss Kristen with those lime green soles on those shoes. Number 12. And that ball goes out across the back line. It'll be a goal kick for the strikers as Adrian Lomason puts the ball back into play. Or actually just brings it up into the box. So both teams getting a feel for the other. That ball saved for going out. Late whistle. It looked as though it did go out. And finally the whistle comes in. And the strikers will have control of the ball as they bring it up from left to right. Littleton, though, has other ideas. Louise Timble sends the ball back the other way. And now Brennan O'Connell battling here on the near side. The ball finally cleared away out of bounds. And... Kristen Miller will retrieve it out. A lot of activity here today. As we've got a field there behind this net. Littleton trying to center the ball, but the striker's doing a good job of clearing it away, keeping them away from the net. And it goes out, belongs to the strikers. Right at midfield. Now taking it upfield for the strikers, number 10, Courtney Verlu. To lose it. Amy Barzuk now upfield again, and there's number seven, Brennan O'Connell. She's very quick. Centers the ball for number 19. She's in deep, coming out to keep her. The ball is still loose. Saved by the strikers. Finally into the net. Oh my. Littleton really worked hard for that score, and it was touched by a couple of different players. Not exactly sure who had the score. It might have been number 19, Kayla Yee. But Kayla Yee was there. Brennan O'Connell was there. A ton of blue jerseys. And they just kept the pressure on Joe Fitzgibbon. And now we'll see if the strikers can come back and tie this game. So Littleton was not going to be denied there on that last possession. As they put that attempt in there three times. They finally were able to push the ball through into the net. And they have taken a 1-0 lead here in the first half. And we've played just about eight minutes here of these 35-minute halves at ball. Right in front of the net, but cleared away by the Littleton defense. Strikers will recover. They bring it back up the other way. And that ball will go out over on the far side. Michelle Lasnik for the Strikers. We'll put the ball back into play from that far side. Littleton hitting the ground hard. Number seven, Brennan O'Connell. 
time. She gets up. Amy Barzuk puts the ball down on the ground, and now her teammate will send the ball soaring downfield. It's number 17, Jenna Schroeder. Right at midfield, that's where the strikers take it. Nice takeaway, change of direction there, number three, Taylor Thompson for the strikers. She had some nice foot movement, used that right foot to scoop the ball away from the defender. Referee giving some instruction on how he wants the throws to come in. Evidently, there on the sidelines, they're not uh, anywhere near the spot where the ball went out, according to the referee. And he gave his instruction there. And now coming back in that far corner, number three, Tracy Roos for Littleton. And she's able to clear the ball away. Is That's about all she could do. She was desperate to find some defensive help back there. So... What she did was a smart thing, and she cleared the ball out of bounds on the far side and allowed her teammate to get back, teammates to get back into position. Again, the ball down the far sideline and out again. And that was off Littleton, so the strikers. will put the ball into play, but we have an injured strikers player And she's holding her nose. She may have been hit. That's number seven, Amanda Dutra. She may have been hit right on the nose, either by an elbow or a ball. We didn't really see the play. And she's going to have to sit down and take a rest. It doesn't look as though she's bleeding. There's the whistle. Referee wants play to resume. And the throw will come in there on the... Far side, number 13 for the strikers, Emily Rhodes, tries to turn the corner and go the other way, but the ball will skip out of bounds. And so we have a throw in coming in for Littleton and another quick whistle. So the action bogged down over on the far side of the field. And taking this free kick will be Littleton. Right there at midfield, number 20, Kate McMullen. Both teams battling for control of the ball. It goes out, and the referee signals that it belongs to the Strikers. So the SSC Strikers, head of the Oregon Youth Soccer Association. And this is a girls under 13. Most of these players out of the Portland area. Littleton United out of Colorado. And now another foot race. Brennan O'Connell trying to catch up to the ball. But it's cleared away by the strikers' defense. Goes across midfield. Now right at midfield, bounces up and down, waiting for it to come down there. Number 10, Amy Barzuk, before she can do anything with the ball. That allowed the defense of the strikers to get in position around her. Now that ball centered right in front of the net, but cleared away. And there's a shot deflected out of bounds across the back line. Now we should have a corner kick coming up for the strikers. Again, number seven, Brennan O'Connell for Littleton. Just all over the field. She's got a lot of speed, and now we'll see what will happen with the corner. 
Amy Barzuk will handle it. The right foot. Nice kick. Centered beautifully. Now rolls long. Back towards the net. Header just a little bit wide. Strikers still trying to clear the ball out. As they move over here to the near side. Littleton will have the ball. Littleton slowly now trying to set something up. Now the ball is centered towards the net. Coming in strong. That was number 14, Lexi Sterling. Let's verify that number. Could have been number four. No, it was number 14, Lexi Sterling. And so the strikers will dodge a bullet there. So Joe Fitzgibbon on that last exchange, she had that nice deflection, the goalkeeper of the strikers, right before that corner kick, saved the goal. Come on, Anna. Come on, Anna. Go the goal, girl. We've played about 14 and a half minutes here in the first half. Substitutions now for the strikers, number nine. Lauren Holmes into the game. See Anna Kennedy there. And number 16, Stephanie Clark. Shadowing number seven, Brendan O'Connell of Littleton. O'Connell wanted to move upfield. Strikers out, send the ball back the other way. Again, there's Kristen Miller. Just as she tries to cross midfield, the ball is taken away by the strikers. Now the strikers will try to attack. Upfield pass. And we're going to get a whistle right there, a trip. That was going against number 20, Kate McMullen, as Taylor Thompson, number three, hit the ground. And now an opportunity for the strikers as they're in deep to tie this game. They trail by one. Anna Kennedy take the free kick with the left foot. Here it comes. She centers it. And it goes into the net. Oh, my. Anna Kennedy with a shot right into the back of the net over the outstretched hands of Emily Appleby, the goalkeeper. And I'll tell you, folks, from the angle that we had here, it looks like she was just lifting the ball up to try to center it somewhere in the box and have one of her teammates try for the header. But the ball just kept soaring. It was perfectly placed. Went right above the hands of the goalkeeper, Emily Appleby, and found its way to the back of the net. And we are now tied at 1-1 here in the first half. So this is shaping up to be a very exciting game. This could be one of those marathons where neither team wants to give in. Ball right at midfield. And that ball is set soaring into the hands of Joe Fitzgibbon. That was Devo Holland, number 18. Devo Holland, 18 there. She has plenty of time. Goes upfield. Now a late whistle. Just a little bit of a touch. and So the strikers will have to retreat now. And penetrating is Littleton. Now moving up the middle of the field, Taylor Thompson. Now across midfield. Nice play there by number 10, Courtney Verlua. She just was able to kick the ball away and then recover. Evil Holland slowing the ball down just a touch. Now both teams going back and forth. It's Littleton in their own backfield, number 12, Kristen Miller. And the ball is stolen away, but it gets away from number two, Anna Kennedy. And this ball nearly goes out. Miller is there to save it. Now she's battling here on the near side with Adrian Lomason. And the ball goes out off of Lomason. And so Miller will put the ball back into play for Littleton. So we're at the Far West Regionals. It's a quarterfinal game. We're at the Spokane Polo Club. I'm Ken Gonzalez for Georgia Lange Event Productions. And it's been an exciting first half of play here. Ball goes high into the air towards the net. 
And right into the hands of the keeper, Joe Fitzgibbon. And again, of course, number seven, Brennan O'Connell, was right there just in case. Littleton now with a good job with some nice ball control, short passes. They're going to run into some defensive trouble, though. And the strikers bring it across midfield, Courtney Verlu. And running the ball down on the far side, Jenna Schroeder, number 17, and the ball goes out. And the ball out on the far side. Strikers to put the ball back into play. Nice strong throw. And on the header, it goes right out again. And quickly, the strikers put the ball down on the ground. Trying to center the ball. O'Connell passes the ball up to 19, Kayla Yee. Kayla will lose it, goes back the other way. We've got just about 15 minutes to go here in the first half. We've played approximately 20 minutes. And we have a 1-1 tie here. Grove comes in. There's O'Connell. She's going to try to run this ball down. She's going to get there. And she's got an angle. She was going to take a shot. She was looking for Miller here on the near side. Miller then goes back towards the net. And that ball will be over the net and hit the just on the other side of the bar and go out of bounds. And so the striker's defense will hold there as Joe Fitzgibbon will put the ball down for the goal kick. So Littleton attacking. Nice play by... Brennan O'Connell to send the ball to the near side. She had Miller there, Kristen Miller. And Kristen tried a little touch kick. She lofted it into the air, trying to mimic what Anna Kennedy did down on the other side for the strikers, and the ball just a little high over that top bar. Finally, the ball comes back in. Trying to clear it out, number 10, Amy Barzuk. Up to number 19, Kayla Yee. Kayla Yee will find Brennan O'Connell. O'Connell gets around two defenders, and she'll finally lose the ball as it's cleared back. Goes out of bounds, but still does belong to Littleton. And substitutions will be coming onto the field right now for Littleton. Miller moving down the sideline. She's near the corner. Ball comes down. High into the air, right in front of the net, waiting for it to come down. That's a dangerous move. As Brennan O'Connell was streaking towards the net, finally Joe Fitzgibbon able to haul that ball in. And she'll send that kick across midfield. We'll see if the strikers can do something here. And Littleton, though, will take it away. Coming back down for the strikers, number five, Christine Olsen. Anna Kennedy, number two. Back to Olsen, now off of number 17, Lauren Butts. Miller here on the near side. Nice change of direction. Tries to center the ball, but the defense of the strikers is there. They'll clear it out.
Miller will take that shot. It'll go towards the net and out of bounds across the back line. And so the strikers will set up their goal kick. Under 15 minutes to go here in the first half. Nice pass back to number 20, Kate McMullen, off of number 10, Amy Barzuk. A little bit of a no-look pass behind her there. Miller runs into some trouble. The ball will go out here on the near side, but it should belong to Littleton, and it does. Substitution, Brennan O'Connell will come out for a much-needed rest for Littleton. After the substitution, we're about set. Mark up good. There's the whistle, and the ball's back into play. Number 11, Crystal Pittman into the game now. And a little slide there, the ball goes out, and it belongs to the strikers. And again, the strikers being warned to put the ball back into play in the correct spot. Come on, Taylor, win that. Ball rolls over to the near side. Now across midfield, but sent back the other way by Devo Hall in number 18. It goes out. And now we have just under. 10 minutes to go. Number three for the strikers. Taylor Thompson will come out. Number nine, Lauren Holmes here on the near side. Trying to take the ball away from Kate McMullen and Amy Barzook. Ball goes out, belongs to the strikers here on the near side. Miller with the header. And the ball goes out right beneath us here. Louise Timble, number four. And Devo Holland puts the ball in. Touched by number 19, Kayla Yee. Kayla, nice pass here to the side to Miller. Miller trying to center the ball. She had streaking towards the net. Crystal Pittman, number 11. But her pass goes right to the keeper, Joe Fitzgibbon, and Joe will put it away. And now she'll clear it up towards midfield. And now across midfield. Holland over to Miller. Nice job there, Anna Kennedy, number two. Sending the ball back into Little, Littleton territory. And now here's a battle. Miller and number 14, Adrian Lomason of the Strikers. And this ball goes out. So after a quick touch, the ball goes out, belongs to Littleton, number four. Louise Timble will put the ball into play. Now we have number 12, Kristen Miller coming out for a break. Come on, Anna, be vocal now. After that substitution, the ball put back into play. Pittman on that far side. And in the game now is Lisa Singleton, number 15 for Littleton. 
And this will be a corner kick for Littleton. High into the air. Centered perfectly again. Both of these teams know how to place their kicks. That's one thing for certain. Whistle going against Littleton. And so the strikers will clear the ball away. Just about seven minutes to go here in the first half. 1-1 tie. Again, this is a quarterfinal match. Girls under 13 division here in the far west region. We're in Spokane, Washington. Lisa Singleton looking for an opening. Now we come back. Barzuk over to McMullen. And that ball will go out. And it's the Strikers who will have control. And coming out for the Strikers, number 14, Adrian Lomason. And number four coming out for Littleton, Louise Timble. Michelle Lasnick into the game for the Strikers, number four. Ball right here at midfield, now comes across, number nine, Lauren Holmes. Sends the ball up to the keeper, Emily Appleby, and that's the first we've seen of Emily Appleby here for the last couple of minutes, maybe 10 minutes, 12 minutes, as the bulk of the action being kept down here in the strikers' territory and keeping busy back there, Joe Fitzgibbon, the goalkeeper for the strikers. But she's held her own, finds herself tied here 1-1 late in the first half. We've come up about 30 minutes, so just about five to six minutes to go here in the half. And that ball will roll to the far side. Touch pass will go out of bounds here on the near side. Michelle Lasnick for the strikers waiting to put the ball into play, but the strikers want a substitution. And that's number 11 coming out, Lindsay Miggs. Strikers trying to do something down here on this end of the field, but Littleton throws the ball away. Crystal Pittman centers the ball, and there's Kayla Yee. Kayla Yee takes the ball away. Now she changes directions, tries to move down the middle of the field, but again, the defense was there for the strikers. Rolls just across midfield. And now it's a foot race. Who's going to get there in time? A collision between Littleton's number three, Tracy Ruse, and number Talk to him out there, Michelle. 10 for the strikers, Courtney Verlou. Both players seem to be okay. Field now. Number nine, Lauren Holmes. Ball get away. Coming in towards the ball, attacking the net, trying to get around the defender. Number 10, Courtney Verlu. And Courtney just chases number 18, Devo Holland, out of bounds across the back line. But it was the strikers who touched the ball last. And so the goal kick for Littleton. But it was certain there that the strikers weren't going to let Littleton off the hook so easy there on that last possession. Ball high into the air. Nice header. Amanda Dutra's back in the game, so 
her nose. Must be better after she had taken a hit to the face a little bit earlier and had to come out for a few minutes. Littleton now number three, Taylor Thompson. And number 13, Kelly Unkrich now involved in the action. There's a shot towards the net, it's gonna hit the side bar. The ball is still alive. Debo Holland tries to clear it away. Oh man, the strikers were just about five inches away from taking a two to one lead late here in the first half. The ball hit that side post and came right back out. Ball comes in number four, Michelle Lasner. Actually for Littleton now, hitting the ground hard. So Littleton will have the free kick. Nice strong kick over to the near side, right to number 15, Lisa Singleton, but it skips right under her leg and out of bounds. And so the strikers now will attack. Just about a minute or two to go here in the first half, a 1-1 tie. Saving the ball from going out was number 10, Courtney Verlu. But the ball will roll all the way to the keeper, Emily Appleby. Ball bounces right at midfield, now across. And we'll get a whistle. Let's see who that goes against. It looks like the strikers are guilty there. As everyone moves back towards the net, they're defending. And Amy Barzuk will put the ball into play here. And she has a little touch pass over to her teammate, Kate McMullen. You know Littleton would like one final shot on net here before the end of the half, and there it comes. And on a bounce, it goes right into the hands of Joe Fitzgibbon. That kick high into the air, just below midfield. Jenna Schroeder over on the far side for Littleton. Back and forth. There's the whistle. That will signal the end of this very exciting first half quarterfinal game here from Spokane Polo Club. And it's a 1-1 tie as we head to halftime. The Strikers and Littleton United. I'm Ken Gonzalez for George Langerman Productions. We'll be back with the second half in just a few minutes. And we're back, everybody, for the start of the second half. I'm Ken Gonzalez for George Langevin Productions. And we saw a very tightly played first half, a 1-1 tie. And so after the little bit of rest period for each of these teams, we'll see who comes out with a little bit more enthusiasm and wants to take it. Again, this is a quarterfinal team, so these teams just two wins away, basically, from the championship. The winner here goes to the semis, you win that, and you're right into the championship game. So both of these teams can smell it. Wind starting to pick up just a little bit here now. To the flag starting to move. And the sun is starting to keep a little more overhead as the shadowing, not as pronounced as it was in the first half. Right here at midfield. 
Of cross and out of bounds. Putting the ball into play for Littleton, number 17, Jenna Schroeder. Kayla Yee with the header, and there is Brennan O'Connell back in. You know, she had taken the last few minutes of that first half out for a breather. And she's back there, number seven again. Nice battle over on the far side between the strikers, number four, Michelle Lasnick, and number 12, Kristen Miller of Littleton United. So each team with a goal here, Littleton United struck at the 8.50 mark of the first half. And about nine minutes later, the strikers find their way into the net at the 17.40 mark of the first half to tie the game at 1-1. That ball goes out off of number 20, Kate McMullen. Well, it was last touched by the strikers. Kate McMullen was there. It looked like it went off her foot, but last touched a strikers player. And so Littleton now with the ball. Miller over on the far side. Looking for some help. Now she'll come back. Littleton now trying to spread the field with a long passing game. Yee gets around one defender, number five, Kristen Olsen. Christine Olsen. And the ball goes out here on the near side. Littleton still with the ball. Now in the shadows over here on the near side. And that kick will go out across the back line. Joe Fitzgibbon will retrieve the ball. She had a very busy first half. She allowed one goal, but she saved three or four others with her play there in front of the net. And now Littleton again wants to attack. O'Connell is there. And that time the ball will go out of bounds. Over on the far side, the ball still belongs to Littleton as Michelle Lasnick brings it back in. Ball goes out across the back line, and that will be a corner kick for Littleton United. Amy Barzuk will retrieve the ball. Let's see if she will take the kick. She slowly walks over to the corner, and it will be Amy Barzuk who will take the corner kick with the right foot. Louise Timble, number four, looks on. She's being flanked there by number 13, Emily Rhodes of the Strikers. Here comes a kick. Again, centered perfectly high into the air off the header by Yee. And that ball just over the crossbar, hitting the top of the net. So Kayla Yee had the right idea. She was in perfect position. The header just a little bit too strong. And everybody has to retreat. And we're still tied at one. That ball bounces high into the air. Number 10 for the strikers, Courtney Verlu. Tries to run it down and control the ball. It still belongs to the strikers. Well, no, it doesn't. It must have gone out across the back line. We'll have a goal kick for Littleton. Side judge with his flag pointing the direction of the strikers. So Littleton will put the ball into play from that far side. A lot of tents here today, as you can see them in the background. As we've hit a little bit of a lull. All over on the far side. Strikers put the ball into play. Devo Holland with the header. Now she's looking for some help. That kick high into the air towards the far side. Coming back to the ball now. Kick goes towards the net, right into the hands of the keeper, Emily Appleby. Ball 
ball into the air. It's still loose. Comes back the other way. Right at midfield now. Nice play by Littleton. There's going to be a whistle, though. And the strikers will have the ball here on the near side. On the header, it goes out. And Courtney Verlu puts it back into play. Hitting the ground hard, number seven, Amanda Dutra. And Amanda has really been taking some lumps here today. As you recall, in the first half, she had to sit out for a couple of minutes due to she was hit in the nose by either a ball or an elbow and came back into the game in the first half. And right now, she just took a, a hard hit and hit the ground. She's still in there. Ball now comes back. Let's see what the strikers will set up. Number 16, Stephanie Clark for the strikers. Sends the ball upfield. She had her teammate Emily Rhodes there, number 13. Defense 0 for Littleton. Clears the ball away. Ball comes across midfield. Again. Now it's centered. Yee. Yee's going to try for a shot. Nice little pass. She had the right idea. As Alexi Sterling was just about to head towards the net. Collision. And boy, the referees are sure letting this, this game go. A lot of physical play on both sides. And they're letting these teams play. It's such a tight game. Back and forth they go. The action is so fast here. I'm having a difficult time just keeping up describing the action. Kayla Yee now comes back up to Katie McMullen. And now for the strikers bringing it across midfield, Lindsey Miggs, number 11. And it's a foot race as we head to that far side. Rhodes and Holland. Nice stop by the cart there. And Devo Holland will win that match as the ball goes out of bounds across the back line. And so Emily Appleby will have the goal kick. So this quarterfinal match being played on Thursday, the 24th of June, 2004. Dutra again in on the action. Now the ball goes over to Holland. Now it's Littleton bringing the ball up across midfield. Now they move their way to the middle of the field. Coming back now. Number 14 for Littleton, Lexi Sterling. And the ball will go out over on the far side. High into the air. And the ball will bounce out. He will come out of the pack. Nice pass up field. Now it's a foot race towards the net. There's a shot high into the air, just over the top bar. Brennan O'Connell was right in position. She went right at the net, attacked the keeper. Joe Fitzgibbon and her shot just high over the top bar and will remain tied at one. So Kayla Yee, number 19, and number seven, Brennan O'Connell. Putting on a one-man or a two-man show. Right in front of the striker's eyes, but fortunately for the strikers, that ball does go out. Now 
as a striker send that ball soaring up across midfield. A battle ensues. Number three for the strikers, Taylor Thompson and Kristen Miller, number 12, going at it over there on the far side. Cleared away by Littleton now across midfield. High into the air it goes. Lexi Sterling, number 14 for Littleton. Sends the ball over to the far side. And Kristen Miller had a pass as she tried to center the ball, but it was deflected out of bounds by the striker's defense. And Littleton quickly puts the ball back into play. Again, Miller tries to center, and again, she's blocked. But Littleton will have the ball. Throw comes into Yee. Nice header. Now O'Connell streaks towards the net. Miller tries to center the ball to her. But the kick goes off her left foot and out of bounds across the back line. And so a goal kick now as the strikers are able to clear the ball away from the net. Coming back on defense now, number four for the strikers, Michelle Lasnick going up against Brennan O'Connell, number seven. Brennan causing a lot of headaches for the strikers' defense here today. Devo Holland just can't catch up to that ball as it goes out. Michelle Lasnick. That's Louise Timble, number four for Littleton. Save that ball from going out over on the far side. Jenna Schroeder, number 17, loses the ball. And now it's the Strikers racing down this near sideline. A lot of physical play here. Nice battle between Lindsay Meggs and Kate McMullen there on the near side. And it's Littleton bringing the ball away. There was a dangerous play right there at midfield as both players go up for a header. That was O'Connell and Kennedy. Littleton puts the ball in the middle. Yee now passes it to the near side. Just as Lexi Sterling tried to head up field, the ball is kicked away from her path over to this near side. Littleton, though, they recover. Nice center pass right into the middle of the field. Yee over to O'Connell. O'Connell's got another shot to net. Nice block. Another shot's going to be wide. Good work, Blue. And Joe Fitzgibbon is certainly getting a workout there in front of the net here in the second half. As Littleton is coming at it with everything they've got. But they've come away empty all three times now. And we're still tied at one. Kayla Yee keeps the ball down on this end of the field. Quick whistle. That's going to go against Kayla Yee. She can't believe it. And the strikers put the ball down. Here's the kick. Strong across midfield, but nobody really there. Now taking the ball up, Amanda Dutra. Nice pass upfield. Stop, change of direction. Now moving into the middle of the field. There's Lindsay Miggs. Tries to take a shot on the net. Too many blue jerseys in front of her. She wheels her way around back to the other side. And finally loses the ball as a defense for Littleton clears it away. And Lindsay Meggs was looking for some help. She did everything she possibly could to try to get a shot on goal. Meggs again running down this near side. Littleton, though, doesn't let her penetrate. We're here on the near side. Two players collide there. Kayla Yee for Littleton. And number 14, Adrian Lomason for the Strikers. Ball finally goes out. 
And the strikers have the ball here on the near side. And we've played about 15 minutes here of the second half. No score in the second half. We're still tied at one. Littleton, overhead toss, high into the air, right at midfield, just across now. Back and forth they go. Again, O'Connell over on the far side. Nice pass upfield, but just a little bit too hard. She had Kayla Yee running right down the middle of the field. But Kayla had two defenders right around her, the ball just a little bit too fast. And the strikers were able to clear it away. And this time the ball goes out here on the near side, put back into play by Lexi Sterling, number 14. Saving the ball from going out, nice job there. Nice footwork by number 11, Lindsay Miggs. She saved that from going out. That ball would have belonged to Littleton. But instead, she gives her team a chance to bring it up across midfield. Amy Barzuk for Littleton. Controlling the ball in the middle of the field. Now it comes away. And the strikers have it. Right at midfield. Amanda Dutra runs right over the ball. Now she has to double back to provide the defense. Ball gets away, recovered there nicely by the strikers, Michelle Lasnik, number four. This game garnering quite a bit of attention, as you can see. A lot of spectators from the adjoining fields have turned their heads this way and are looking on the action of this field. This free ball. kick coming from the far side. The the Littleton trying to direct some movement here of their teammates. That shot will go up towards the net. It's going to hit the top bar. Come right down. I don't believe that that ball didn't get into the net. And Littleton turned away for the fourth time here in the second half. Joe Fitzgibbon catches that ball as it comes directly down. So from the far side, parallel to that Back line, Littleton United puts a shot up. It hits the top bar, comes directly down, doesn't penetrate the goal line. And Joe Fitzgibbon is able to make the save and keep this a tie game at 1-1. One, one. Coming up on the 20-minute mark here of the second half. We have approximately 15 minutes left to play. Unofficial time, of course. Go get it! Go get it! Ball comes in across midfield, now streaking to it again. O'Connell, she runs into some trouble as defensively for the strikers, Stephanie Clark, number 16, gets in the way, is able to take the ball and send it downfield. Tracy Ruse, number three for Littleton, passes the ball up over to Devo Holland, number 18. And Devo tries to go downfield, her kick goes out of bounds. And the strikers will have control of the ball over on the far side. Now it looks like we're going to have some substitutions for the strikers as Taylor Thompson and Michelle Lasnik will come out. Lauren Butts is in. Anna Kennedy there at midfield. Nice soaring kick across midfield. Collision right in front of us. 
Neither of them really had the ball. Amanda Dutra goes down, as well as Lexi Sterling, number 14 for Littleton. But they get right back up and get back into the field of play. Evo Holland trying to run this ball down before anybody can get there. She's being shadowed by number nine, Lauren Holmes. And Devo Holland has no choice but to kick that ball out of bounds on the far side and allow her teammates to get back on defense. As she was being pushed into that corner and was going to run out of room. Ball on the ground. Emily Appleby with the kick. She angles over to the far side. Just below midfield, Miller. Kristen Miller will have it there as her kick goes out of bounds and now belongs to the Strikers. Referee now directing where the ball should be put back into play. He's already given two warnings today to the strikers as they attempted to put the ball back into play. He had to put them, replace them back further downfield each time. Teen Olsen, number five for the strikers looking on. She's right at midfield. So she'll be back there just in case Littleton comes out here and streaks towards the other side of the field. Now here on the near side, number 11, Lindsay Miggs. Just can't save that ball from going out. And it will be Littleton. They want to quickly put the ball into play, but again, the referee is waiting for some substitutions. I thought he had another warning, but it's just substitutions as Littleton will bring number 14, Lexi Sterling, out of the game. And we'll try to find out who replaced her. Ball goes out, Littleton still with the ball. Oh no, it wasn't. We had a push to the back by the strikers. And so the kick will come right down this near side. And number six for Littleton, Katie Monette into the game. Monette moves down into the corner here on the near side. The ball goes out, still belongs to Littleton. Coming up on just about 10 minutes here to go in regulation. 1-1 one, one tie. Dutra upfield. Right into a passing lane and her pass is taken away by Littleton. Evo Holland has the apple go off her chest. Comes away with it. The strikers move downfield. Nice pass. Now the strikers try and center. Off to number 10, Courtney Verlu. And now the ball will skip wildly over to the far side. And we're trying to get there. Natalie Simmons, number eight for the Strikers. Yeah. Stephanie Clark yeah. keeps Littleton from just streaking down that far sideline. Stops the momentum. They have to stop, put the ball back down, and put it into play. Kayla Yee can't get around Stephanie Clark again. Lindsay Miggs now gets around two defenders, passes it up to Amanda Dutra. Miggs still with the ball, tries to move into the middle, looking for an angle. Tried to pass the ball upfield, but too many blue jerseys are there. And Littleton now clears the ball 
upfield just a little bit. And as they get to midfield, it's the strikers who take it away and bring it back down the other way. Adrian Lomason now over to Amanda Dutra. Amanda runs into some trouble. Passes it back to Lomason. Now across midfield. Miggs running as fast as she can. Will she get to the ball before it goes out? She can't. Last touch by Littleton, so we'll have a corner kick for the strikers. On a Kennedy, number two, who has the only goal so far for the strikers today, will take this corner kick. And let's see if the strikers can push a goal across here. As we have under 10 minutes to go. Left footed kick, centered. One header, two, high into the air, finally comes back down. And taking a kick and a shot towards the net. Christine Olsen, number five. But the ball is just wide, rolls out of bounds. And Emily Appleby will take the goal kick here. So the strikers haven't had too many opportunities here in the second half, and they tried to take advantage of that one right there. They were able to get a shot on goal, which is which all you can ask in a game such as this with these two teams so evenly matched. And the shot was just wide. Lauren Butts was streaking towards the net. She wanted that pass. It was just a little bit to her left and behind her, and she couldn't recover on it. Littleton able to clear the ball away. Nice header by Devo Holland. But the strikers recover. They're still putting some pressure down on the defense of Littleton here on this end of the field. Dutra loses the ball. Now the pass comes back. And an errant kick there by the strikers allows Littleton to take the ball back the other way across midfield now. Brennan O'Connell trying to get in front of number nine, Lauren Holmes, but she couldn't do that. Ball finally goes out. Littleton still controlling the ball as they're deep now in the striker's territory. Kayla Yee holds the ball up. Now she passes it out. Kate McMullen. Kate McMullen goes towards the back line looking for Brennan O'Connell. Ball still alive, didn't go out across the back line. Now it does go out here on the near side. And the ball belongs to the Strikers. Amanda Dutra goes back. This ball's deflected, it's gonna go out, but the Strikers should have the ball. And they're actually giving the ball to Littleton. It went off of, in fact, it hit two Littleton players before it went out. And they still give possession to Littleton. Strikers able to break that. And they're still trying to bring the ball up across midfield. Littleton, though, using their short passing game, slowing down the pace. That kick high into the air again, looking for Brennan O'Connell. Courtney Verlu now right down the middle of the field. Runs into some trouble. On a Kennedy. Make sure that was number 10, Amy Barzuk for Little Toon who ran into some trouble. Kate McMullen. Kicks the ball towards the net and coming out. Making the nice stop on a bounce is Joe Fitzgibbon. And again. Brennan O'Connell was right on top of her just in case she wasn't able to handle that ball. Again, the ball goes out on the far side. Whistle and substitutions now. Substitution for the strikers. And again, a quick whistle by the referee. Ball rolls into the hands of Joe Fitzgibbon. 
Her kick goes high into the air, across midfield now. Now the ball rolls over here towards the near side. Number six, Katie Monette. Keeps the ball from going out. Now she's going on one-on-one -on -one against the defender. Nice center pass. She was looking for Brennan O'Connell downfield. The defense for the strikers clears the ball away. A lot of congestion right here on the near side. The ball finally comes loose. Brennan O'Connell right at midfield. She can't control the ball. And the strikers send it back the other way. Ball down on the ground. Again, nice center pass. Lauren Butts, number 17, but it goes just a little bit too hard and rolls right into the hands of Emily Appleby, the goalkeeper. And Emily quickly. Sends the ball showing up towards midfield. Kayla Yee will take it there. Over to Katie Monette. Katie gets her around. Well, she didn't get around. She tried to get around number 14. Adrian Lomason. The ball goes out off of Katie Monette. She tried to gain an angle and reach around Lomason, but Lomason wouldn't give in. And she was able to take the ball away from Katie Monette. Call goes against Littleton. A little bit of an elbow there. So, but a striker's ball. So this quarterfinal match tied at one here late in the second half. We're at the Spokane Polo Club. And I think I smell overtime here. So we have to have a winner. To move on to the semifinals. Katie Monette trying to get around on a Kennedy number two. Coming up to help, Adrian Lomason, number 14. She centers the ball. Collision there again. Both players getting up. And Courtney Verlu, number 10 for the strikers, will have the ball taken away. Now Kayla Yee, all alone. She's streaking towards the net, trying to get there in time. The defense. Nice save, Joe Fitzgibbon, and she'll run down the ball. She'll land right on top of number seven, Brennan O'Connell. Brennan, I believe, is okay. She's just winded. And Joe Fitzgibbon might have saved the game right there as Kayla Yee was streaking to the net. Action continues. Kristen Miller sends it back again. Again, Kayla Yee almost had a straight shot toward the net. She's going to be struck. Hit the ground. That's number five, Christine Olsen for the strikers. That's two defensive plays where Christine Olsen has sacrificed herself, put herself in harm's way, and altered the course of the ball. And those could be game-saving plays right there. Ball goes out on the far side. The strikers will have it, and they may have just the last opportunity or two here in regulation to put the ball into the net. Comes high, now back down. Trying to get around the defense, number 17, Lauren Butts. She can't do it. The ball goes out. Under two minutes here in regulation. We're still tied at one. Ball going back and forth. Littleton trying to clear it away from the net. Now the ball goes across midfield. Kayla Yee can't control the ball. And it does finally go over to the far side where it's saved. No, and finally it does go out. Ball belongs to Littleton. They put the ball back into play. Referee looking at his watch. We're coming to the end of regulation. We could see overtime here unless a miracle happens and Littleton can put the ball into the net here as they're down on this end of the field. Kayla Yee, now she goes back. There's a kick high into the air towards the net. One bounce, Joe Fitzgibbon goes up. She makes the stop. 
Again, Brennan O'Connell's there. Joe Fitzgibbons' kick goes towards midfield. There's the whistle. That will end regulation. So we will go to overtime. The first 10-minute overtime set will come up in just a few minutes as these teams take a break. Again, we have a 1-1 tie in this quarterfinal match. I'm Ken Gonzalez, George Langevin Productions. I hope you don't go anywhere. You have to see the conclusion of this exciting game. We'll be back in a minute. And the first 10 minute overtime has just begun. So if we don't get a winner here, we'll have another 10 minute overtime and then this game will be decided on penalty kicks. That's the way it goes. So that's what's in store for us. But if we can crown a winner here. Ball right at midfield. Devo Holland. Put the ball into play. And quickly the ball goes right out over on the far side. So we played two full halves, and these teams tied 1-1. So they're going to have to settle this thing in overtime. And again, the first 10-minute overtime just underway, about one minute in. Back and forth, the strikers trying to push the ball away from this end, of course. They want to keep Littleton out. And now the strikers will come up across midfield. Here come the strikers now. Rhodes here on the near side, number 13, Emily Rhodes. As she angles towards the back line. Collision with number 17, Jenna Schroeder. Jenna won't let Rhodes around. Rhodes finally will take a shot towards the net. And Emily Appleby is right there to scoop the ball up. And so the strikers take the first shot here in overtime and they're turned away. Now for Littleton number seven, Brennan O'Connell maneuvers from the far side, centers the ball. She was looking for Lexi Sterling number 14, but stepping in there, the defense for the strikers, clearing the ball out. Amanda Dutra can't control the ball again. Sterling here on the near side. She wants to take a shot, but it's gonna be blocked and a little push in the back. And actually that's gonna go against Littleton. Maybe an elbow it must be. So the ball comes back across midfield. Littleton though, still controlling the action here. And that ball will roll out. Number 20, Kate McMullen couldn't quite get there in time as she tried to stop that ball from going out. And so it's the strikers who will have possession of the ball here on their half of the field on the near side. It's been about 55 minutes worth of play since we had our last score. Now striking toward the net, the strikers coming out of nowhere though. Devo Holland on defense for Littleton, clears the ball away from the net. Kristen Miller over on the far side before Brennan O'Connell can get to that ball. The strikers clear it away. across midfield again. Number 14, Adrian Lomason, but Lexi Sterling that is, for Littleton. And again, Diego Holland has to race back. She gets some help by Tracy Ruse, number three, her teammate. Tracy with a slide over on the far side, that ball will go out. And for the strikers, number 11, Lindsay Meggs and number three, Taylor Thompson there. That ball high and wide out across the back line. Oh, 
Now it's a little tense turn as they bring the ball up across midfield. Sterling, along with number five, Christine Olsen, battling each other for control of the ball. Finally goes out over here on the near side. And the ball belongs to Littleton as Kate McMullen, number 20, gathers it in and she will put the ball back into play. She has O'Connell and Yee there. It's O'Connell trying to streak towards the net. Now Kayla Yee comes back to help out across the back, or near the back line. And she'll send that ball cross field over to the far side. And that's where Joe Fitzgibbon makes the save. And now Joe with a nice high kick coming over here towards midfield. Nice header there by number 13, Emily Rhodes. She put the ball across midfield, but Littleton brings it back the other way. Kayla Yee over to Brennan O'Connell again. And it's out here on the near side. Ball belongs to Littleton. And Lexi Sterling puts the ball down. There's a whistle. That's going to go against... Kayla Yee is number seven, Amanda Dutra, hit the ground. And so the strikers will bring the ball up. As we've played six minutes now of this overtime. So about four minutes to go. Downfield across midfield. Kayla Yee battles for it. That goes out here on the near side. But Littleton still controlling the ball as they put it back into play. Brennan O'Connell over to Kayla Yee. And Lexi Sterling comes over to help out. She runs into trouble as Adrian Lomas, in number 14 for the Strikers, is there on defense, hitting the ground, tripping number seven, Brennan O'Connell. And Littleton now will have the free kick. Let's see if they go straight to the net or set something up on the side. They're going to go straight at the net, and that ball will go right into the hands of Joe Fitzgibbon. And so Joe with another save. Kayla Yee tries to move down the middle of the field. Too many white jerseys are there. And the strikers will send the ball over to the far side. Ball down on the ground now. Four little to number 10, Amy Barzuk, trying to get around the defense. She does as number three, Taylor Thompson. Almost gave her an angle. But then Taylor recovered. That ball goes out on the far side. We've got just about two minutes to play. Good work, Michelle. And coming out of the game for the strikers, number four, Michelle Lasnick. And she'll be replaced by number eight, Natalie Simmons. And it's a Natalie who will take the kick for the strikers. So now the action is bogged down over on the far side of the field. Just about a minute, minute and a half to go here in this first overtime. And we could be looking at a second overtime here. Kayla Yee can't get the header there as watch, Emmy, watch. Watch defense for the strikers get to the ball first. Ball is out on the far side. Back to save it for Littleton, number three, Tracy Ruse. But coming out of nowhere, number 10, go, go, go. Courtney Verlu takes it away. Devo Holland kicks the ball. It goes off of Courtney Verlu, and so Littleton, although they're mired deep in their own territory, has controlled the ball for the final minute or so here of this overtime. Oh, 
Littleton, ball back into play. Nice header right down the middle of the field. Coming over here to the near side, Rhodes, Emily Rhodes trying to get around the defense. Can't do it as Jenna Schroeder, number 17, cut off her angle and a shot goes across the back line and out. Littleton will have the goal kick. Time winding down here in overtime. Here comes the kick over towards the near side. There's the whistle, and that will signal the end of this first overtime period. So we played an extra 10 minutes, and nobody has scored. We'll be right back with the second overtime in just a second. There's the whistle, and we've started this second 10-minute overtime. This match between the SSC Strikers and Littleton United has been one of the best matches here in this far west regional. This quarterfinal game has seen just two goals, one for each squad, scored in the first half. And ever since then, they've played approximately 60, 63 minutes worth of soccer. And we've just seen a lot of great saves, a lot of great defense on both sides. And this thing could very well go down to penalty kicks as we have started this second 10-minute overtime. If nobody scores here in this frame, we will go to penalty kicks. Liz Gibbon comes out of the box. Remember, both sides switch nets there between the overtime period. So it's Littleton now moving from right to left in the blue uniforms. Devo Holland sends that ball soaring downfield, trying to get there. Brennan O'Connell. Brennan wrapping herself around the defense. She's able to save the ball. Kristen Miller centers the ball nicely. Kayla Yee is there. Her back to the net. Tries to get around the defense. Can't do it. And the ball finally cleared away by the strikers. We move over to the far side now. Crossfield pass taken away by Littleton. And now Kristen Miller here on the near side. She'll center the ball. Yee right in front of the net. No, that's O'Connell. She tried the header, misjudged the ball. It goes straight down and rolls away from her. And coming out was Joe Fitzgibbon to make the save. So Brennan O'Connell came just inches away from ending this game for Littleton right here. Brennan hits the ground. She gets back up. Now the ball moves over to the far side. It's a foot race. Number 17, Jenna Schroeder for Little, Littleton United and number nine, Lauren Holmes. And the ball goes out. Strikers with the ball. And Lauren Butts lets that one go out across the back line. So the Strikers with a corner kick now and a golden opportunity to end this game. And number five, Christine Olson will take the corner kick. Both teams converge right in front of the net. It's a game-breaking play right here. Here comes the kick. Bounces once, twice. It's centered. Let's see who can come up with the ball. Defense for Littleton. Pushes it away from the net, and now they finally clear it away across midfield. So Littleton will dodge that bullet on the corner kick right there. Sending the strikers back downfield. And we've played about three minutes here in this first overtime. Ball right at midfield. Over on the far side now, number nine trying to move up with it for the strikers, Lauren Holmes. Just to recap, in that first half, Littleton scores at the 8.50 mark of the first half. They go up 1-0. And just about nine minutes later, the Strikers tie the game at 1 at the 17.40 mark of the first half. And that's it for the scoring recap. You can see the flags waving now again, so the wind has steadily been picking up throughout the course of this match. 
Strikers now trying to break free. Again, number 11, Lindsay Miggs, trying to make something happen here. The ball goes out. Lindsay will put, put it back into play. Action still unfolding here on the near side. Amanda Dutra, number seven for the Strikers. She wants the ball. She's right in the middle of the field. Littleton clears it away across midfield, and then it comes back the other way again for the Strikers. Now moving her way into the middle of the field, centering the ball, number three, Taylor Thompson. Crossfield pass. Strikers moving in deep. The defense for Littleton, though, converges on the ball. They clear it away. We're halfway through this overtime. Five minutes to go. Strikers. Taylor Thompson takes the ball away from Littleton's number 10, Amy Barzuk. Back and forth. Strikers now will head down towards the net. Devo Holland trying to provide the defense. Also getting back there, number three, Tracy Ruse. So they're going to cut off any angle that Lindsay Miggs would have. And Lindsay will take a shot towards the net. But right there, easy play for the goalkeeper, Emily Appleby, as she comes out and makes the stop. Under five minutes to go. That ball still rolling down towards the back line, and before it goes out, it's going to be kicked. And we'll go out on the far side, so we won't have a corner kick as the goalkeeper, Emily Appleby, with a heads-up play. She wasn't going to get to that ball and, and stop it with her hands. I believe she was out of the box. She had to come out so far, so she kicked it out of bounds. And from the far side near the corner, well, wait, are they saying that it did go out across the back line? That's evidently what they're saying. So we will have a corner kick for the strikers. It sure looked as though that ball went out on the far side. There's the corner, headed away by Barzouk. Just about three minutes to go here in this overtime. And if we don't get a score in the next three minutes, we will move on to penalty kicks. Strikers trying to attack Amanda Dutra. Now the ball goes across midfield. Brennan O'Connell trying to get around the defense. Can't do it. Strikers right at midfield. Michelle Lasnick. Now it's a foot race over in the corner. A collision, no whistle. Hitting the ground, number three, Tracy Ruse for Littleton as the strikers come up with the ball. Centered right in front of the net, just a little bit long. Lindsay Miggs was right in position. Now she has the ball. She's going to try it again. But the defense for Littleton, though, comes in. And now Kristen Miller will clear the ball away. But boy, did the strikers sure have an opportunity right there in front of the net to end this game. Crossfield passed just a little bit too strong. And Lindsay Miggs just couldn't catch up with it. Ball now going back and forth. Each of these teams with long crossfield passes as they just want to get the ball near the net, give themselves an opportunity to take a shot. We're running down here in the second overtime. Just about a minute to go. Kristen Miller here on the near side for Littleton. Ball centered. Strikers defense though comes out. Clear it away. They're still in the box though. Still in danger. Littleton now. Here's a shot towards the net. It's going to be wide and across the back line. That was number 20. Kate McMullen for Littleton United. 
Referee looking at his watch. We're down to the final moments here of this second overtime. There's his whistle. We resume play. Goal kick here for the strikers. They want to push the ball downfield. They got some quick runners in there now as they just made their substitutions. They just can't control the ball. The strikers, Littleton takes it away. Now it rolls free over here towards the near side. Miller will take a shot towards the net. High in the air. There's the header. Brennan O'Connell with the header. Goes high into the air and saved by Joe Fitzgibbon. And O'Connell with their second opportunity here in overtime to end the game. The ball just not cooperating with it. There's the whistle. That's the end of the second overtime. And this game will be decided on penalty kicks. We played a scoreless second half, two scoreless overtimes. I'm Ken Gonzalez, George Langevin Productions. We'll be back with the penalty kicks and the finale of this great match in just a few seconds. And the teams sending their respective members up there to take these penalty kicks as we start the final bit of action here in this quarterfinal match. Again, we're at the Spokane Polo Club in Spokane, Washington. Today's Thursday, 24th of June, 2004. And it will be Littleton with the first attempt on the net. Joe Fitzgibbon back for the strikers. And number 10, Amy Barzuk, will take the first attempt here on penalty kicks. There's the whistle. Here comes the first kick, and it goes right past the diving Joe Fitzgibbon. And that ball finds the back of the net, and so Littleton with the first score. And now for the strikers, number two, Anna Kennedy. Anna Kennedy has the only goal today for the strikers. As she tied the game up back in the first half. And now she'll take her shot at the net. There's the whistle. Left-footed kick, and that will find the back of the net just past the diving goalkeeper, Emily Appleby. And so penalty kicks even at 1-1. And now for Littleton United, number 19, Kayla Yee. So let's see if Kayla Yee can get this ball past Joe Fitzgibbon. There's the whistle. Right-footed kick goes just past Joe. That finds the corner. And it's 2-1. to one. Littleton United over the strikers. And for the strikers, number nine, Lauren Holmes will attempt to even the score. the whistle. Lauren's kick goes just wide of the net. Just wide. So the strikers trail here in penalty kicks two to one. This game not over yet. And now for Littleton, number three, Tracy Ruse. We'll try to make it very difficult for the strikers to come back here. As if she, if she can put this ball into the net, it will be a 3-1 lead. There's the whistle. Here comes the kick. Just past Joe Fitzgibbon. And Littleton United with a 3-1 lead. 
And Lindsey Miggs, number 11 for the Strikers, needs to push this ball through right here. Here comes her kick. Just inside the post between the keeper, Emily Appleby. And so the Strikers pulled within one goal. They trailed three to two. And for Littleton United, number 20, Kate McMullen will take this kick. Let's see if Joe Fitzgibbon can stop this. Kick came in just before the whistle, so we'll do it again. So Kate McMullen backs up. She'll try it again. There is the whistle. Here comes the PK. And that ball will find the back of the net. And I believe Joe Fitzgibbon thought she was going to have to move to her left. The ball went to her right and found its way into the goal. And so Littleton United has scored on all four of their attempts. And for the strikers, number 13, Emily Rhodes has to put this ball into the net right here. Here's the kick. Very strong. And there was nothing Emily Appleby could do there, the goalkeeper for Littleton. And the strikers still hanging on to some hope here as they trail 4-3. And Devo Holland, number 18, with a chance to end it here. And with the left foot, there's the whistle. Devo's kick. Nice block by Joe Fitzgibbon. She did what she had to do. She was ready there. And now the Strikers with a final opportunity here to tie the game. They trail 4-3. And number 10, Courtney Verlu will take the kick. Emily Appleby is back, guarding the net. There's the whistle. Here's the kick. That ball will find the back of the net and coming all the way back they were down three kicks to one the strikers and it's 4-4 and for Littleton United number seven Brennan O'Connell now will take her shot Connell sizes up the ball. Here's a kick just past a diving. Joe Fitzgibbon. And number seven, Amanda Dutra for the Strikers. Has to even the score here. 5 4, Littleton United. There's the whistle. Here comes the kick. It's not going to be stopped in time. Goes right into the net. And we're tied up again. And for Littleton United, number 12, Kristen Miller. Is the whistle. That ball gets right past Joe Fitzgibbon, right into the corner. And Littleton United is up by a goal. And for the strikers, number five, Christine Olson. Will attempt to even up these kicks. 
6-5 right now in favor of Littleton United. Emily Appleby back guarding the net. There's the kick. That ball will find its way right into the red net. And the strikers with some clutch, clutch goals here. They come back to tie. And for Littleton United, number four, Louise Timble. So United, Littleton United has had seven opportunities. They've scored on six. Same as the strikers. So Louise Timble sets the ball down. Joe Fitzgibbon. Here's the kick. That'll find the back of the net. And we keep going on. And now for the strikers, number 16, Stephanie Clark. Will attempt to tie the game. Ball on the ground, referee backs up. Emily Appleby is set, here comes the kick. That's gonna be right underneath the hands of Emily Appleby, the goalkeeper. And so another point added for the strikers. Emily nearly came up with that stop. She thought the ball was gonna bounce up. Instead it stayed on the ground. I went right beneath her. And number 14 for Littleton United, Lexi Sterling with an opportunity here. Sterling's kick. Again, right past Joe Fitzgibbon in between the goalkeeper and that far post. That's eight kicks that have made it through for Littleton United. And now it's number three for the strikers, Taylor Thompson. She needs to even things up right here. Here comes the kick. That's going to be stopped and saved by Joe, by Emily Appleby. And Littleton United on penalty kicks has taken this match over the SSC Strikers. And what a game. You couldn't ask for anything more exciting than that. It took nine rounds of penalty kicks to come up with a victor here today. And there you have it. Littleton United wins this quarterfinal match. They're on to the semifinals here in Spokane, Washington. Well, we hope you enjoyed this game. I'm Ken Gonzalez for George Langevin Productions. It was certainly my pleasure to bring it here to you today. What a match. These two teams so evenly, evenly matched together today. Well, that'll do it for us here. Hope you have a great day. And we hope to see you again very soon. Until then, be safe, everybody.